Okay, so now that we have our project set up, the next thing we want to do is apply our primary color correction and also resize our image. And I'm going to do that in our first node. Now by default you would already usually have your first node in the node viewer, but I deleted mine just so that I could show you how to create one if you need to do that. So in order to add a new node, you can just right click and, the, and go to add node, and I'm going to add a new corrector node. And when I add that, it's sort of floating out here, but it's still not activated, so I need to connect it to these two points. And once that's done, my node is sort of active. And now the first thing that I'm going to do is resize and readjust my image so that it actually looks like the shot that I want to have, instead of just this random crop that I ended up when I changed my timeline settings. So to do that, I'm going to go into the sizing pane here. And within the sizing panel, I have a bunch of different options that allow me to adjust my image. And basically what I'm going to do is zoom out a bit. And then I'm going to adjust my pan, just sort of left to right. And my tilt, which is sort of up and down. to get the framing that I want for this shot. The next thing I need to do is apply my primary color correction. So if we look at the scopes over here, we'll notice that my values are sort of all crushed down into the midtones. I don't have much information up in the highlights, and I don't have enough information down here in the shadows. So to adjust for that, I'm going to go over here to my color wheels, and I'm going to play with my lift, gamma, and gain to set proper exposure for this shot. And so I want to bring the lift down. I want to bring the lift down until my shadows sort of meet the bottom bar. And I may have brought those down too much, but I can go back and adjust those later if I need to. And I want to bring my gain up so that I have some more information in the highlights. Looks pretty good for that. And then I want to adjust my gamma, and those are sort of my midtones, just so there's sort of a better distribution, um, so there's not so much down towards the shadows. And so that's looking pretty good for exposure, but the next thing that I need to do is sort of adjust the color balance. And for this look, what I really want is a warmer feel to the image. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is go into this primaries panel. And I could do this with the color wheels by dragging the color wheels around, but I kind of like the control that the, the individual sliders give me when I'm trying to achieve a specific look. And so basically what I want to do to make this warmer is I'm going to start at sort of my highlights in the gain, and I'm going to take some of the blue out of the image. Maybe add in a little bit of green. Take out a little red, it might be a little too much. And then in the midtones, I'm going to also take out just a little bit of blue. And once I've done that, that's sort of given me a look that's a little bit warmer. And now if we take a look at the before and the after, you can see that by adjusting the exposure using the lift, gamma, and gain, and then also adjusting the color balance, that we've really started to make some progress towards our final look. So again, this is where we started, and this is where we are after our first node. Now we're ready to add our second node and move on into some more secondary color correction. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video.